So today we're going to shoot a quick video about my uh, new build. Uh, I previously did a video about my S5 4.2 V8 teardown rebuild. This is now a uh, 2018 Audi Q7. has uh, approximately 72,000 miles, 120,000 kilometers, and uh, is experiencing heavy oil consumption. And um, uh, it experienced heavy oil consumption to the point where there was a uh, situation with a burnt exhaust valve. Um, these are the pistons out of this uh, three liter Q7, engine code CREC. We can see that the engine coating, uh, piston coating, the skirt coating, is actually still intact. Once the skirt coating wears off, the actual piston is, is no good anymore and has to be replaced. But the area of interest is this oil scraper ring. This oil scraper ring doesn't even seem that it's uh, uh, really there. It's actually really carboned up. This is for those long interval oil changes. And um, because of those long interval oil changes, you really have a soot accumulation issue in your oil. And that soot eventually with hot summer driving, cold winter driving, uh, just bakes itself into that ring. You're saying, well, what, what am I looking for? The oil scraper ring that's supposed to be functioning would have uh, something most like this. Uh, we'll take one of these pistons out here. An oil scraper ring should have basically channels that allow the oil to get into these fine drilled holes here, scrape that oil all the way back into the crankcase. And uh, right now that oil scraper ring uh, is just sludged up. So at 70 uh, some thousand miles, this vehicle was consuming um, 1.25 liters per thousand kilometers. So for about 800 miles, it was consuming 1. Point, or 700 miles, 1.2 liters. So that is over the th permissible threshold. Uh, the client did receive a new engine short block and uh, Audi did not want the, his short block back. So I bought this uh, short block and uh, I am rebuilding it to put it in a uh, Q7 that I bought with a burnt exhaust valve. So I have two Q7s that were experiencing oil consumption. One dropped an exhaust valve and one got the short block. Uh, I'm left here with a perfectly good short block in great shape here. I don't have my flashlight to show you the the bore in there but it is nice. Those cylinder wells are peachy. There's no uh, wear. Got good cross hatches all over. Um, I really lucked out with this young little engine here. So what do I got here is a rebuild kit from uh, um, eBay. I'll share the link uh, later here for that guy. And uh, my co-workers were really uh, speculating I might have bought some counterfeit stuff. But everything is Audi original. Um, and I can attest for that because I have compared all the markings on the gaskets, the flanges, even though they do come with a dual label, this label is obviously for distribution in China, and that's where this uh, eBay rebuild kit came from. So it was an OEM rebuild kit, everything is uh, Audi original, except for the pistons. The pistons are Molly, which Molly makes these original Audi pistons that got carboned up here. Uh, there are a couple of versions of the pistons that you can watch out for that have uh, superseded rings um, that help reduce the likelihood of oil consumption again. Um, but those pistons are terribly expensive. Uh, from the dealer, they're $1,200 each Canadian, uh, which is pretty cost prohibitive when you have uh, six cylinders. So again, we took out these guys here. These guys are all suffering the same exact fate. That oil scraper ring non-existent not scraping any oil as we can see here here number four three two one no wonder this thing was absolutely sucking back the oil